In this video, we're going to do a brief introduction to the Python Institute and a great way for you to learn how to program in Python. Now, first off, in, Python is becoming a very popular programming language out there. Uh, it's being utilized by a lot of high-end systems, especially for machine learning and cybersecurity, uh, just due to its flexibility and ease of programming. Python is not something that's just for a programmer. It's actually quite flexible and quite useful for systems administrators, network engineers, um, even desktop technicians in order to help simplify their jobs. Therefore, it's highly important to be able to use something similar to Python. And this is currently the best solution out there. So there's lots of places online to be able to learn how to program in Python. Uh, I particularly enjoy the Python Institute here simply because, well, one, it's a great option, great way to be able to learn uh, how to program Python utilizing a lot of labs and hands-on activities. And then secondly, because of its price, which just happens to be free. Yay! So if you are interested in this, uh, go ahead and browse out to pythoninstitute.org, O-R-G. Uh, if you go to .com, you'll get some page that they're trying to sell you something. Uh, so make sure you go to the correct website. And then we're going to go ahead over here and we're going to click Learn Python. Uh, from here, it talks about Learn Python from scratch. has a nice YouTube video talking about what it is. And then we'll see that there are two sets of classes. There's a Python Essentials Part 1 uh, and then Python Essentials Part 2. As you could probably assume, you start on Part 1 and then you move to Part 2. Uh, so in order to sign up for these, what you do is just click Go to Course Page. Uh, and then this takes you to an enrollment page and you can just go ahead and click Enroll for free. Here, uh, when this page shows up, excuse me, it was supposed to look like this. Uh, when this page shows up, go ahead and enter in your password and username and information. Uh, it will then send you an email for confirmation. And when you have confirmed, you may, you'll have to come back in and log in and you will see a page similar to this. Uh, up at the top, you'll see that there's a tabs here, study, certify and exam history. Uh, when I'm under certify, it talks about the certification exams I can take, some of which I can take online, some of which have to be in person. Uh, exam history, if you've taken the exams previously. Uh, and then the study page is where we actually go to do the study. You can see right now I'm currently enrolled in one active course, and so I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And we can see that it's broken up into four different modules. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start off with module number one, which is just an introduction to the programming language. Uh, there's a couple of different ways I can do this. First off, I can down here at the bottom, I can click the next button. And that gets me kind of to the next page of the website. And then I can keep clicking next and next and next. The second option is up here on the top here, uh, this guy right here. Uh, allows me to again click back and forth so just like the next and previous buttons if I click on this these little chevrons up here that takes me to the next page as well uh, or I can click back as well additionally there's this little uh, I believe this is called a hamburger menu on the left hand side but if I click on then a little menu bar flies out and I can see this says I'm currently on page 1.1.2.3 which I see right here 1.1.2.3 even tells me hey this is where you are right now and I can click on separate pages and I can scroll down and go through various pages as well so a couple of different ways in order to browse through this. Uh, this first chapter doesn't actually go into actually any Python, but it does talk about the background of it and how it kind of came into being. Uh, and then over here on the right hand side, there is a sandbox tab that if I click that, uh, that will actually open up a Python sandbox for me to where I can type in some Python code. For instance, the classic Hello World uh, introduction page, and then click the play button in order to go ahead and run that. And then we'll see down at the bottom in the console section that it ran the, 
uh, ran the code that I typed in and then back to the course. So that's the first section. Go ahead and make sure you read through it. It, Like I said, it talks a little bit about the background of Python, but also talks about some of the uh, common terms you might hear as we're going through here. Uh, for instance, compiled versus interpreted code, um, who created Python, why it's called Python, um, yeah, Ministry of Silly Walks and everything. So read through that. And then in the next video, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll actually be start, start jumping into some of the labs that are in chapter two and we'll be walking through them together.